Welcome to Financially Fit, brought to you by Verified Investing. My name is Benjamin Poole, and today I'm going to talk to you about Eli Lilly. So L-L-Y is the chart. So today I'm going to tell you why it's really important to not necessarily trade specifically on the RSI divergence, but to wait for an actual pivot point or a turning point in the charts. Okay, so come on over here. Here we have a chart of Eli Lilly. So when we're looking at RSI divergences, we're looking at a higher high on this chart, but a lower high on this chart. So here, down here is your RSI, so Relative Strength Index. So as you can see, this is the daily chart for Eli Lilly. So I want you to notice that he, right here, back in March, no, August, you had a high right here. So right here, the RSI is telling you that this stock is really overbought, right? It starts to dip, but as you see over the months, the chart keeps climbing. And so based on this RSI divergence, you would expect this stock to fall. But as you can see, it actually didn't. So this is why we don't trade RSI specifically and use that as a factor. So what you wanna do is you wanna wait for something like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and change over to the weekly chart. I'm gonna reset my chart and then I'm gonna zoom in. So what you're wanting to do is you're wanting to wait for something like this. Something like that, that is what's called a topping tail. So a topping tail is a really good indication that there is going to be a change in the charts. So we wait for that. And now I want you to see something else on the daily chart. Now it's starting to it put in that topping tail. And now on the daily chart, it's starting to put in a nice bear flag. So although the RSI told us that it was going to go down way back in August, September, October night time frame of last year, it waited until here to finally put in a topping tail and now it's putting in this nice bull flag. So we expect this chart to actually drop and go down with the rest of the market, okay? So that is why we don't trade specifically RSI divergences and we wait for additional factors before we enter a trade, okay? I hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time on Financially Fit.